43,000. I got to take, are you ready? Hey guys, it's Trisha. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna be talking about how I gained 200,000 subs in 2018. How much I made in 2018, as in breaking it down, what worked, what didn't work, why I made more money on this month than another month. I'm also gonna talk about how much money YouTube will give you for a million view video, because I believe I have three, how much I made in a month, and how much YouTube takes from you, and things you really need to know if you think about starting a YouTube channel. We're gonna get through all of that. decided to do this because almost a year ago now I came out with the how much money do I make as a kid slash my first YouTube paycheck video which was just about a year ago so now I'm showing you guys how much I've grown since then when I started this year in January I believe I had 15,000 subs a year later I have a quarter million in January of 2018 I'm pretty sure my month paycheck was a hundred I was proud of it but it's also not a lot it's actually to be exact $137 in December of 2018 I made almost $5,000. There's me just putting it out there. December, I made almost $5,000. January, I made $100. So in 2018, you can see how my channel just also, time out. I'm going to be giving out so much information, so much helpful stuff that a lot of other YouTubers don't say. Get a paper, get a pen, write it in your notes. I don't care. This stuff's important. I wish someone told me this. January 2018. I would like to say in 2017, I did make YouTube videos. I made them really unregularly, not as a main goal, main source of income. I just put them out there sometimes, here and there, every few months. I never took it seriously. Just off of that, I already got like 15,000 subs. Not sure why anyone subscribed to me. I had the ugliest high-pitched voice. My videos were so so bad. In January last year, about a year ago, 5,000 views used to be like a ton to me. I used to be so proud of 5,000 views. Now my ballpark range is like minimum views I'll get on videos like 50,000 views. Once a month a video will hit 100 something thousand. So January I made 137. February I made $754. So you can see just in a one month period that my money went up $600. At the end I'm going to say how much I made in the whole year combined. Solid amount for a 15 year old I would like to think. I'm going to get into how much I should have made, how much I made, and then how much after taxes I was left with. Now once it gets to the summer, that's kind of your go time. Everyone is on YouTube because there's no school, so that's when you have to put out content. You don't even have school in the summer, so film videos. Summer is when I put out my best videos. In May, I made $1,024, pretty low compared to what I make now, but in June, I made $2,700. I nearly tripled it once summer started. In June, the highest I made in the day was $252. Then in July, I made $3,500. So you can see in the summer, it's just like from 1,000 to 26 to 35. Towards the end of August, that's when school starts back again. I drop down to two thousand dollars or 109 is the most i made in a single day you can see that once it comes summer it's like this and then once school starts it goes back down like this in december i made nearly five thousand because i put out my birthday video christmas haul u.s vlogs almost five thousand dollars is how much i made in december i should have made eight thousand one hundred fifty four dollars however youtube takes a big, big chunk of your money. Over 4,500, under 5,000. So cut in half, automatically any of my paychecks cut in half. In the summer, $7,500 is what I should have made, but YouTube takes a big chunk, I came home with $3,500. I don't get to keep that $3,500. You have to pay for tax. See, January 2018, when I made 137, I was supposed to make 243, but YouTube takes from you again. The most money I made in a single day was December 21st, I made $722, but again, YouTube takes money, so I got $400. So from $722, I took $400. From that $400, I still need to pay tax. I'm just talking about AdSense, but counting sponsorships, I made, I wanna say $50,000. Because I want to be completely honest, in 2018, I made probably near $50,000. So on Google AdSense, I made 43,119 and some change. Sponsorships I easily got, However, since moving to 
the Philippines, I have lost thousands of dollars. I could have easily, easily, easily made so much more money off sponsorships. Most brands that I work with before are US only. Some companies will pay you more for a two minute advertisement than how much you will make in a whole month. I had sponsorships with them where it was set up that I would put up a video for them every single month. But when I moved to the Philippines, a solid 90% of those brands cut me off because they're only US and Canada only. Rarely any places will sponsor you in the Philippines because that's just not a main country target. When I lived in the US, my top three audiences were the US being first, taking majority of the viewers, next being Europe and then Canada. Like if you have those top three as your geography, a lot of companies will sponsor you because those are companies' main target places. So now my top geographies are US, Philippines, and Canada. Normally sponsorships will send you money through PayPal. This is from earlier in the year when I still lived in the US. I'll just say the amounts that came in. Sponsors will pay you big time. Now I don't really do sponsor videos. I still get offers, but not from companies that I genuinely want to work with. I do have two sponsorships coming up soon, but I genuinely believe in the brand and I genuinely think that you guys will enjoy the video and the product, so that's why I'm putting it out. Now I can't really get money like that because they won't sponsor me anymore. When it comes to sponsorships, brands will try to pay you the bare minimum. You need to know your worth. You need to have your set rates. If a brand asks, what's your rate? We'll give you this much for a 30 second video. If it doesn't sound right, you're probably right. It's probably not a lot. They probably are just trying to lowball you. Now, I wasn't very aware of this tax. As I was saying, in 2018, I made nearly 50,000. I should have 43,000 off Google AdSense. I came home with, out of that 43,000, I got to take, are you ready? 24,000. YouTube cuts your money in half, correct? Because they're giving you a platform. But I still have 24,000. On top of the sponsorship, like that, YouTube doesn't take any money. That's straight through PayPal, you know? So out of the 24,000, you pay tax. Tax just beat me up this year. Last month, I got the notification. It was time to pay tax. When I got notified how much my tax was, it hurts. <laughs> You go from 50,000 to cut in half and then you have to pay tax still. That's why I recommend saving your money because I still have money to cover. I currently have like a quarter hundred thousand saved up. I could take a chunk of that and pay my tax. Every month that you get your money, you're spending it. When it comes time to pay tax, you're not even gonna have money to pay for tax. That's why I recommend like every month putting aside money, paying your tax per month. If you pay it all at once at the end of the year, then you'll have to pay extra, but you can set it up where you just pay per month. Definitely recommend that. Even though I'm putting out $3,000 hauls or whatever, I still have a good chunk of money saved up that I can still pay tax. Now for tax, I'm still well in the five digit range of money I have saved up and I'm still treating myself with $3,000 hauls to America. Time out. I freaking hate when people say the money I make from YouTube, I'm so spoiled and I just spend it on myself, whatever. Tithing is extremely important to me personally. I believe that 10% should be given back. Whatever I have, I always make sure I take 10% and I give it back. Whether that be just donating $1,000 to a church, buying $700 worth of groceries just to give on Christmas day, putting a roof on a church because they couldn't afford it. Like, and I still have another $1,000 for the past few months to still give away. Like it just, bugs me when people think that I only spend my money on myself because I'm giving so much my money that already gets cut so much. I give some of it to tax. I save some of it. I make sure I give 10% back. Now that money that's left, I choose to spend it on myself. Anyways, I'm gonna be talking about my most paid for video. The money I got the most views on that is my main source of income even though it came out a year ago. It's still making me more money than other videos. It's my first YouTube paycheck and how to make money. Now it should have brought in $16,050. $57.63. $16,000 for this video that I believe has 2.6 million views. How to make money as a teen. I believe that's over a million views too. $7,800. $97. That $16,000 video that I should have gotten, I got 8,900 from it. The video I should have gotten 7,897, I got 
4,374 from it. So from those two videos alone, I already made near $15,000. Definitely a good amount, I will openly tell you guys. In 2018, that's when I started uploading weekly, if you guys don't know, that's when I gained my 200,000 subscribers. So in 2018, I gained 32,491,861 minutes of watch time, 10,500,000 views 203,412 subscribers in 2018 those are my statistics for 2018 never ever thought i would get to that insane like i received my 100,000 plaque a few weeks ago i got it late because there was like a mess up it's insane youtube has completely switched everything changed so much for me i'm just a normal person little 15 no joke i'm 60 now 16 year old that just decided to put a video up somehow got blessed enough to grow so big and now be here hopefully helping you guys out on how you guys can do it as well it's crazy to me sometimes when i think about it i didn't even know you could make money on youtube i had no idea when i first started making videos when i was really young i just wanted to do it because i just wanted to put myself out there and like make a video and whatever i know of so many people that want to do it i used to like put my phone up and like film a video and never upload it and one day i just uploaded it if i never had uploaded that i wouldn't be here so just do it like if you want to put up videos just put it up who freaking cares if people at your school find out who cares if you get bullied about it thank you so much i feel like i never got to sit down and properly just say like thank you so much because people notice me in public like what the heck i go to 7-eleven and people know who i am I go to the mall and people come up and say hi to me. At school, people know who I am. Why is this happening to me, you know? That's basically everything. The last thing I just wanna say is if you do decide to make YouTube videos, please make sure that you spend your money wisely because I guess if you want to, go ahead, go use it all on yourself. I personally, I like to give back. I like to save some of my money in a bank. I like to make sure I'm saving money for tax. I like to use my money to better my channel by buying tripods, chargers, computers, like that stuff gets expensive. I think that's everything I have to say for now. I think I covered how much money I make personally, how much YouTube takes from you, how much you get off videos, how I grew so fast. I think that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you haven't yet. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Peace out.